Interesting. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I Very was interesting. <laughs> Stupid, <laughs> but interesting. Good morning to y'all. Rise and shine. I am so sorry. I was unaware that our show had started. And I was on a rock phone. Oh, it started already? It did. <laughs> You're talking on that rock phone again. She's been talking to rocks lately. You know, I don't know what to say. Yeah. I, I want my world to really rock. All right. <laughs> so let That's me get this good. baby Enzo up here because he is pawing at me this morning. Well, let's get Ringo up here too then. How about uh, that? So Ringo. good morning to the crazy house of Sea Lake Journeys. Along with baby Enzo and, and Ringo. Ringo. Well, today is going to be a fabulous day, oh, isn't it? Absolutely. So once again, Law Jones has brought us our quote of the day. Oh, and yes. He knows us all too well. It's That's so me. scary. It's like he's our twin brother. I think he's my twin brother. I just don't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what he has to say. When the whole world is running towards a cliff, he who is running in the opposite direction appears to have lost his mind. That is a quote from C.S. Lewis. And is that not true or what? It's the story of our life. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's yep. running towards the cliff and we're running in the opposite direction. They're going, where are you going? And sometimes it's because we know exactly what we're doing. And other times it's because we're like, hey, why are they going that way? <laughs> Let's see what's the other one. See what they're running from is what it is. We don't know what the we want to see what they're running from. And yeah. <laughs> what are they running from? Let's go find out. This could be interesting. And the other thing is, rarely do we go with the crowd. No, we are, we're just we just don't go with the flow of the crowd. No, we try to do be a little different. I yeah, reckon. we do. Just our nature. I, I guess, and maybe I don't know if it's our, our good nature or our bad nature in us. That we're like a porcupine that. trying to be a cat. <laughs> Porcupine trying to be a cat. You ever petted a porcupine? Um, no, I've seen a porcupine. Yeah, but you don't pet them things. No, you sure don't. <laughs> so we want to welcome all of our viewers, all of our subscribers, and I love our lurkers. And don't forget the hashtag team replay, our wonderful, spectacular, fabulous moderators. Woohoo! Yes. Our people coming over from Facebook, and of course, our members. Our members. Mm. Yes, thank you so much, members. I really do appreciate you. You make this show a little bit better than it was before you became a member. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and there's always room for more members. That's like we're like the haunted mansion at Disney World. There's always room for one more. There's always room for one more. Oh, so now they're both going to try to be on my lap. Absolutely. My lap is not big enough for both of you. They, they want to both sit on Mama's lap. Okay, so let's say good morning to everybody that's in the chat. All right, let's see who else is here. Oh, wait, first real quick, what is our topic today? Our topic today is... The best food on the cruise ship and the worst food you've ever had on a cruise okay. ship. So think about your own experiences. What's the best food you've had? What's the worst food you've had? And put it in the chat because we've got a list of the best food we've ever had and the worst food we've there ever had. There you go. Mm. So we're going to say good morning to the Clock Family Adventures. Good morning, Clock Family Adventures. Oh, and look. Facebook's reminding me to start the live. You did start it, didn't you? <laughs> did, yes. My God, I hope I'm not talking to ourselves again. <laughs> I'm talking to a wall right now. And good morning to the fearless rambler. Good morning, George. <laughs> and good morning to the Gaylord. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. 
I love that picture of them with their little heads just locked know. next to each other. That's a good picture. It really I'd make is. A good thumbnail, Every time man. I see that picture, I'm like, yeah. they just love each other so much. That's right. I love to see that. Great picture there, John. About like Enzo and Ringo are loving each other, washing their own John and right Jody, now. by the way. Yes. <laughs> and of course, we said good morning to Law Jones. That's right. Good morning, Mom. And the Cruise Nuts. Cruise Nuts. We're glad to have you here this morning. <laughs> we were having a chat with uh, Mike and Tracy the other day, and I've always known that Mike is the peanut in their logo, but I never really realized that she was an almond. An almond. I, I didn't know what kind of nut she was, or maybe I just didn't care what kind of nut she was. I just liked the fact that she was cute and she was holding up a beverage. What kind of nut would you be? I'd probably be a walnut. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What kind of nut would you be? Uh, I don't know what's left. Uh, a cashew? I don't know. See, and this is what I think is so funny. He's the peanut, right? But the peanut is the curviest of all the nuts. You think she would have been the peanut because she's got the nice little curvy body like the females are supposed to have. Hey, it's our world. You can be whatever kind of nut you want to be. <laughs> Do you want to be a nut? I know I'm a nut too. That's why we get along so well with cruise nuts. If there you haven't you checked out their channel, go check them out. They got some of the best drone footage ever made on the planet. If you yes, like seeing cruise do. ships and ports from areas, uh, you know, up from the air, there, that's where you there want you to go. go. We're going to push them out there this morning. There you go. Okay, read some of these chats. All right, Law Jones says, Chet's probably still back at See Me Traveling, oh. <laughs> trying to get a chaffle. <laughs> What's a chaffle? A chaffle. That's what they were making for breakfast over there. It's a... Uh, uh, when you're on a keto diet, you got eggs and, and some other stuff and you put it in a waffle iron. Oh, oh, yes. I've heard of that. Yes, a, a, yes. A chaffle, a chaffle. I've yeah. had that before. Yeah. Um, and cheese know, and eggs. Cheese and eggs. I, I think didn't it was. know that's yes. what it was called. Yeah. Hey, why not? You go on a gluten-free. You got it. You can still use your waffle maker. You just I can't put reckon. the batter in it. <laughs> um, let me see. She's rolling um, down the list. So, yeah, hey. go ahead and give us one of our things while I'm rolling. All right, down I list. want to talk about the, one of the first things on our list when we was talking about our best and worst. So we'll start off with one of the best: the chef's table on the Regal Princess. Now we've done several chef tables on different ships, Carnival and Princess. They were all spectacular. There was no bad experience in any of them. They were all absolutely top of the line. But the Regal Princess, that chef's table, and that chef's table Lumiere, the whole atmosphere, the presentation, just made it a little bit better. Which, you know, as I was going down my list this morning again, I realized how much an effect presentation of food has. Yes. If you'd asked me before, I'd be like, oh, I don't care. Just slop it on my plate and let me eat it. But then I got thinking about it. I'm like, you know, presentation makes a difference. And some of these things we're talking about, the good and the worst. And think about your good and worst. How much did presentation make the difference in that food? Presentation means everything to me. And we'll, we'll be talking more about that. like, there's a lot of things like, okay, so I grew up and my daddy was, you know, born, raised in Alabama and Louisiana. So I had a lot of Cajun type foods. And a lot of Cajun type foods are not visually pleasing. They're just not. A crawl dad is not visually pleasing. And neither is gumbo. Well, I grew up opening a can myself <laughs> and dumping it into a bowl and eating it. So or, or a box of cereal milk. So presentation was never anything for me growing up either. But now I'm realizing, wow, presentation is important. The presentation is very important. Because that's what made it so different on that Regal Princess. Mm -hmm. That Mayor D presented that stuff like this is the most fabulous creation in the world. He did. He was so and proud. And we want you to be as happy about it as we are. And it was so funny because we were the only ones there taking pictures of the food as it was brought out to us. Mm -hmm. And he realized that Chet was taking a photograph. And I said, I think I said something to Chet of, I'm sorry, we missed that. We missed that one. And the maitre d' heard me. He said, you missed what? I said, I'm, I'm sorry, we missed taking a picture of that item you just brought up. He says, oh, he goes over and gets it and brings it back to us. And after that, he made sure that every time he walked into the area that we were at, he came straight to us first. Yeah. Here, take your picture. He was so proud he of was. what his chefs I'm telling were creating. You, that pride went into that food and presentation, mm -hmm. and you could tell the difference. Yeah. And good morning to Mark the Shark. Mark the Shark. Everybody get your salutes up out there. He says, hello, hello, my beautiful people. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Please be safe and please be kind. Yes, I'm on Harmony of the Seas right now and about to do a back-to-back -back Woo, Mark the Shark. Hey, while we got Mark the Shark here, we finished up your poll this week. We had 46 votes on the Mark the Shark naming poll. And guess what? 67% said Mark the Shark should stay Mark the Shark. Well, there you go. The Mark people the have spoken. 
There you go. 67%. That's a landslide win right there. The people have spoken. And good morning to Destination Fun. Good morning to you. And good morning to Eddie Lugo. Yo, yo, yo. My leg baby daddy is Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Hopefully everything's gone great for you. Hopefully today you are feeling 100%, brother. Woo! There we go. And good morning to Aaron Smith. Hey, Aaron, what's going on? He says, good morning, Sea uh, Lake Journeys crew. And good morning to Danny D, the super Super, super, super supporter. Thank you, Danny D, for being here. And Backlash Fisherman. He says, let's go cruising. Let's go cruising. Hey, how about let's go fishing? Hey, if you, if you want to go fishing, check out Backlash Fisherman. He will take you there, and he knows how to catch them. Unlike yeah, he me. does. And Danny D, the super supporter, says, don't forget to smash that like button, Peace. Oh, yeah. How about that? Thank you for that, Danny D. You know what? A squeaky for you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the, the um, Let me see what else is going on over here. Everybody's just telling each other good morning. Oh, and good morning to Shanster Travels. Oh, by the way, good morning. Fearless and Shanster, the two of you have not pinned the links in your videos for today's um, Saturday stroll. Oh. So, Shanster, I do believe that you are the first video in the stroll. It's very important that you post the link, pin the link for the next video because otherwise it's going to stop at you. <laughs> and, um, Help, please subscribe. Yes, please subscribe to see other journeys. <laughs> so we don't know who subscriber number 1274 is and 1275, but you keep subscribing and unsubscribing. Please subscribe and stay subscribed to our channel. And don't forget to watch a video. That way YouTube will not kick you out of our subscriber count because we love you. And we want to keep you on board. Yes, we do. And good morning. Good morning, Randa Sita. And she says good morning to everybody out there. Happy Saturday. <laughs> and Aaron says, Neat opening. <laughs> Neat opening roll. All right. <laughs> you know us. It's, it depends on what mood we're in. We tr we have learned that in the beginning when we started this channel, we felt like we needed to just tone our personalities down a little bit because we didn't want to scare people away. Will you please pick him up? Come here, dog. We didn't want to scare people away <laughs> with our over-the-top personalities. But now it's just like, wasn't working know, for us. It wasn't working for us. So we said, you know what? We're going to get the people that come to our channel that love our quirkiness. And if they don't love our quirkiness, they will find another channel out there that That's they right. love. If you like silliness, if you like a little sense of humor, if you like <laughs> squeaky toys, you've came to the right place. <laughs> yes. And here is the Gaylords. They that say, intro makes me wish I was on a cruise. Oh, man, me too, John. Let me I'm tell you what. You I, what. Want, I want to go on a cruise now. <laughs> and Fearless Rambler says, Chad has one big eye. How'd you, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that would work. Did I was I like, I wonder if this will work. I was, I was taking I this know. right here and I was going like this. Oh, you do? You have one big eye. <laughs> you don't even have to pull it away from your face. It's a big eye already. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and Danny D supported was it. What did The Rock have to say? The Rock was wishing <laughs> all of Sea Leg Journey crew a fabulous Saturday. That's exactly what it just said to me, too. <laughs> Y'all have a fabulous Saturday. Thank you, Mr. Rock. And Law Jones says that we were buffering, buffering, buffering. I'm so sorry oh, that we were no, buffering. Oh, no, not buffering. And good morning to Renee. Good morning, Renee, to you. Woo! Hey, you know what? You know what else food we liked on what the else? ships? Uh, pretty much across most all the carnival ships, we liked Guy's Burger. Guy's Burger. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's this is the thing about Guy's Burger, okay? Let me tell you about Guy's Burger. That is the first place on a carnival cruise ship Chet heads to. Yep. It's not the first place I head to, but it is the first place First place she heads to is the rum bar. <laughs> But she gets two. She gets one for me also. I don't head to the rum bar. I head for a waiter that's selling the fun ship drink, which is a rum punch. That's how I get two. And then go ahead and get herself something also. Well, I have had times where I enjoyed a guy's burger, and I've had times where I did not enjoy a guy's burger. And that's why guy's burger made both sides of our list as the best and also and the as the worst. And you know why it made the worst? Because those cruisers that went in front of us wrecked that topping bar. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that topping bar looked like a bunch of animals got up there and rooted through that thing. Or, better yet, a day that you're in port, okay, and 
they've had the they've had the guys burger bar out there you know since whatever time they put it up i don't know they put it up at like 11, 11 o'clock and yeah. it's two o'clock and because we're in port now it has gnats and flies all around it ah! so like, mm, mm, no so guys burger made our best list because it's the best burger we think but it's also made the worst list because Man, that is a train wreck over there on that toppings bar sometimes. <laughs> Why are you sitting like, look at him sitting, he's sitting, sitting under again. my armpit. It's a game to him. He's going to jump down. He's going to come back around over here and want me to pick well, him back him up. Put him back down on the floor. You're going to stay right on the there. floor. No, put him back here in the bed. He'll just start grunting and, well, and he can honking grunt and all else. that. <laughs> he can grunt somewhere else. <laughs> he does. Uh, 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 he wants to. <laughs> there he comes so, now. Yes. Yeah, so the guy's burger, I think, is the best and the worst burger at sea. Now, we've been on yeah. some cruise ships where they burnt the burger. Yeah. It's like, yeah, or burned. it's like a hockey puck. Mm -hmm. It's like, how long has this burger been sitting here? Yeah. So it made our best and our worst. That's right. It made both. But you know what else made the best, though? That steakhouse on the Carnival Freedom. Oh, the steakhouse on the Carnival Freedom. Yes. But... I also have to add the state house on the very first princess cruise we were on. That. That's when we experienced the different salts. Oh, the golden princess. The golden princess. Yeah, that was really good. I would have to say those oh, are good. the two best state houses we have been on. I think what was so surprising about the one on the Carnival Freedom is you don't expect it. You don't expect the high level. That what we had in there that day was almost up to the level of a chef's table. Yes. They brought yes. out this piece of smoked salmon on top of mustard ice cream. First off, smoked salmon on mustard ice cream, that don't even sound good. First of all, I don't even like fish. I don't yeah. like fish. I don't like the smell of fish. And smoked salmon to me, I thought it was you, know raw what I, you know what it reminds me of? It re Smoked salmon reminds me of fish bait. It was not smoked. <laughs> it was not smoked hard and dry like a potato no. chip. It looked like it was still raw. It, right, but it was yeah. it was smoked. It had a smoky flavor. So of course he makes me taste it first, right? And I'm like, okay. So he's videotaping me taping, and I put a little bit of the ice cream on the smoked salmon. Oh no, it was in a little tiny dish. Yeah, a little tiny dish. Yeah. I said, okay, I'm just eating it as one pop shot because I don't like fish. I'll choke it down and. um but it was so good. I could not believe it. I ate it and I thought, this is chef's table stuff right here. Oh my gosh, was it good. And then the, the we had lobster there and everything was perfect that day on the Carnival Freedom and that steakhouse. Probably, I mean, it was top notch. I don't, it'd be hard to beat that one. But for me, if we're going to talk about, you know, fish that I really don't like that you were eating because it's part of your dinner mm -hmm. um, on, um, I don't remember what ship, uh, please forgive me for that. But um, that was back this ship. You had um, the hors d'oeuvres and everything in the galley and they had served raw salmon on a tree branch. Yes. And it was, and it was pretty, it, the, yeah. the tree branch was on this nice little platform and it had all these pieces of raw strips of salmon on it. I ate it, but oh my God, it was like, bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> let's say good morning to some more people that let's dropped it. in the chat. Good morning to Kathy Mills. Good morning, Kathy. And um, I think Law Jones says it's a Flintstone thing. It's a talking. Flintstones thing. <laughs> Yes, um, but see, it has to go like this because this is the earpiece and the talking piece. Let me try it again. Okay. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Hello, is this the party to whom I'm speaking? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> and here's what Aaron Smith says. All right, Aaron says, I think it was Dennis Waitley who said, if you follow the crowd, you'll miss the boat. Yeah. Oh, and there you go. That's a great one, Aaron. How about that? And this is the saying that, that breaks my heart. Wide is... The road to destruction, to destruction, and narrow is, is the, the path to salvation. Yes, that's scary to me. Uh, that's that true. is just so scary to me. Kind of fits along with all these quotes we got mm -hmm. going on today. How and about here's that? What Danny D says about the geologist. Why was the geologist sad? Because his marriage was on the rocks. <laughs> 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 Thank you for that, Danny D. Oh, that was a that, good laugh right there. That's a good one, Danny D. Yeah, you know, all the all your, this chat is great this morning. And the, and the Gaylords, shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. Love shrimp cocktail. So mm. I'm assuming that that is one of their favorite cruise foods because they've got all these exclamation points by it. I so mean, we do want to hear in the chat, what is yes. the best food you've had and the worst food? So when you put it in the chat, put best, 
and then tell us what it is. And then, or put worse and tell us what it is. And I'm you don't sure. have to name the ship or anything. You can just, if you. Yeah, just particular food. I don't remember. Right. The shrimp cocktail, I'm sure the gailers here are saying it's fantastic because we eat shrimp cocktail like. Every every meal. Almost every, oh yeah, mm -hmm. every dinner meal anyway. And I'll yeah. tell you the, the best. Oh, and good morning to Captain Billy. Ahoy, Captain Billy. He says ahoy to everybody out there at Sea Lake Journey Crew. And so one thing, I have actually had the best shrimp cocktail I've ever had on a ship. And it was on a princess ship. I don't remember which ship, but it was served with, um, you had this lime and you squeezed the lime on it. And it had, an, instead of traditional cocktail sauce, it had mango sauce. I remember that. You remember that? Yeah, that was fabulous. And Chet had gone to the bathroom that. and the waiter told, the waiter has explained to me, don't taste it until you squeeze the lime on it and have part of the cocktail sauce with each piece of shrimp. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm looking at it. I said, this isn't traditional. He says, no, but you're going to love it. And so I took the first bite and I was like, oh, how amazing. Who would have known that shrimp and mango and lime juice would have made, and pineapple yeah, would make such yes, a yes. great combination. I remember that. Chet comes back to the bathroom and I said, okay, you've got to do it the way he said. And Chet tried it. Oh, that was the best shrimp uh, cocktail we have ever had. It was on a carnival ship too. And I can't remember which one it was either. I don't remember. Um, and, uh, let's see, let me go ahead with our next thing. How about we'll go to a worst one. You ready for a worst the one? The worst, bring it on. One of the worst ones we've, it's, and it's been consistently worse. <laughs> the Island Buffet at Princess K. Oh my God. Every time they set it up, it's like they open the lid and here comes, there's no flies around. So they open that lid and then there's like 20 million <laughs> oh flies. Come was... zooming in. It's like a oh. cloud from that mummy movie. You know, when they have all... <laughs> Here the they are all on the window from the from the movie with the dead people that are living inside the walls. Oh, you know, the, the window's covered with dead that, flies. Zzz, 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 zzz. <laughs> I cannot eat at Princess K. I no. can't do it. And the thing is, we've been to Princess K more than once. We was there three times this year alone. <laughs> so, and all three times, like, by the third time, I'm like, I'm not even walking over there. Mm -mm. I'm not so, filming it. I'm not eating it. <laughs> the first time we went, we thought, okay, it's summer. It's the middle of June. You know, we are living in Florida, insect capital of the world, you know. And, okay, I'll chalk it up to that. But the second time we went, they had fly strips hanging in the buffet. I mean, how disgusting is that, right? You're looking at this fly strip that's like, I don't know, four feet long, hanging from the ceiling with all these dead flies stuck to yeah. it. The second time we didn't eat there. The third time I told Chess, I'm walking through the buffet just to see what's there. I walked through one door and straight out the other door. <laughs> yeah, and, and guess what they were serving that day? You guessed it. Flies! flies. <laughs> No, thank you. We'll go back to the ship and eat. <laughs> um, and Clock Family Adventures. Yes, uh, we know that you got your uh, video up late last night, but I do still have you added into the um, into the presentation that we're doing yep. um, this tonight at 6 o'clock. That's right. So six I still got you covered, Clock. So, yeah, if you want to know, Saturday Stroll, we're, we're going to talk about all the people who are in the Saturday mm -hmm. Stroll. And uh, how about that? We're going to kind of promote the channels that are in it. And good morning to TNT Adventures to Sea. TNT's Adventures to Sea. Good That's morning right. to you. Woo. Let's give them a shout out. Let's do it. What, 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 what is your channel doing right now? It's growing. It's growing. It's gro Hold hey. on a second. You talk to you talk oh, to them. What happened to the screen? Just talk to them. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, let me tell you what else we love is the Princess Fries. Oh, she's doing that. Of all the ships we've been on, consistently, Princess has the best French fries. When we go to the room at night, our last thing, we always want to get room service and we always order fries. No matter what else we get, That's we're right. going to get those fries because they are just fabulous. I know. They've got great fries. I don't, I don't know why Amazing they're better. Amazing fries. I can't even tell you why they're better, but they just are. Another thing the princess has got going on is pizza. Pizza. Alfredo's pizza. The best pizza at sea, bar none. Let me tell you what. If you have not had an Alfredo's pizza on a ship, you need to get on a princess ship just for that Alfredo's pizza. You will get the pizza the way you want it. I ordered a vegetarian pizza. That way it's got all the vegetables on it. And mm -hmm. then I say, hey, by the way, can you put some pepperoni on it too? And they go, sure. <laughs> and they throw a me some pepperoni. vegetarian pizza with pepperoni on it. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. It's so good. Always so good. Mm. Mm. I'm giving myself a, a squeaky for that one. There you go. So I put up TNT Adventures to See. I put their link up in the chat because they currently have, you ready for this? A whopping 55 subscribers. Let's get them growing. I think yeah. that, you know, they've got a great channel. It's a brand new baby channel. It's so, it's just 
a little baby, but she's got such potential to grow. That's right. And you know what? We started off 2023, and this is what we said. We want all small YouTube channels to triple in growth. Let me tell you what. Some of you have already done it. Yes. Some of you, it's not even 30 days into the month yet, and you've already tripled your growth. So Let's see if some of these other ones can do it too. Yes, yes. So if you've not checked out TNT Adventures to see, they are a member of our channel. We love them very much. They're great supporters. Go over and check them out. Yes. Um, and so let me see what's and going on. And tell them Sea Lake Journey sent you. <laughs> <laughs> the Gaylord said that they would be a grape nut. Grape nut. <laughs> Sometimes they have grape nut cereal on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> a okay. great nut. That's a good one, John. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here is cruise nuts. The best ribeye and the worst potato soup. Okay. So, so they've had a ribeye on the ship that they have loved the best and they have not liked the potato soup. Yes. Mm. So I have had some soups on ships that to me were so watered down. You lost the flavor of the soup they were trying to present to you. So I wonder if that the worst potato soup they ever had was it was watered down. It wasn't the nice, creamy, thick potato soup with the we like the bacon on the top and the scallions on the top and a little bit of shredded cheese on the top. It must not have been like that. Well, you know, talking about soups, some of the best soups I've ever had on cruise ships were the chilled soups. I've ordered different kinds of chilled soup and I thought because I always try something different on all the ships. And you're going to see, we got our food videos coming out. You're going mm -hmm. to get to see some of these chilled soups I'm talking about. I don't like Wonderful. the chilled soups. He Wonderful. does. Oh. To me, the chilled soups, All he had a beet and strawberry chilled soup. Yeah. He had a peach and mango chilled soup. Yeah. Oh, that was soup. the best. Mm. He had um, mm. a, a, a pina colada chilled soup. Yeah. To me, they all taste like baby food. No, to me, they all it, it tasted wonderful. I'm just telling you, they're cold. And uh, she did taste one and go, hey, if you just put a little... Uh, Alcohol in this. And <laughs> that was the pina colada soup. I said, yeah. you just add a little bit of rum to this pina colada soup. This would actually be good. <laughs> but hey, we don't want to give it away. That video is going to be coming out. So you'll, you'll want to see that. <laughs> okay. So let's read some of these. Chats All right. Laura Jones says, food, always good conversation. Right? We thought it'd be a perfect topic today because you can't go wrong when you're talking about food. And if you're a says, he would be a coconut. Coconut. <laughs> Oh, if you're gonna be a nut, why not be a coconut? Captain Billy said he'd be nut butter. Nut butter. Hey, how about that? <laughs> hey, I can be peanut butter then, right? I want to be peanut butter then. <laughs> Thanks for that tip there, Captain Billy. You got my brain. Oh, and Eddie had there. put up the link for cruise nuts because we were talking about how great his drone footage was. Yes, thank mm -hmm. you for that, Eddie. And of course, Danny put up the, the one for clock adventures. Right on. And just a reminder for everyone, our new thing for our moderators is if you'd like to have your link posted in Ooh. our chat. What is it, Chet? Hashtag SLJ. Hashtag SLJ. If our moderators see that by you, mm -hmm. they will go over and put your link in the comments. And it's better if you do it in all capitals because all caps will jump out at them. Yes. And they'll be more than glad to put your link up in the chat. Hashtag SLJ. And if you are watching as hashtag team replay, the live chat doesn't come up for a couple hours later, but make sure that if you do see someone in the, in the chat, or we've talking about someone in the chat that you'd like to connect with and you don't know who they are, just put in the comment to tell Chet and he'd be more than glad to put it up for you because he does answer each and every comment personally. And the rock says to please subscribe too. <laughs> So I got him this little whiteout board, right? Just for fun. Because he's always, he loves his squeaky toys and he loves all his other stuff. And I had no clue. He was going to just jump on this. Little, I thought he was just going to put cute stuff. Well, I guess that is cute stuff. But he has just really jumped on board with that. But the help, I'm not sure what the help is. Help! All about. Help! <laughs> We're here to help. What can we do? Subscribe. <laughs> so here's what Aaron says. Aaron says, cruise lines are batting 1,000 in the chef's table dining experience. Yes, they are. They are definitely what. batting a 1,000, Aaron. You are so, they are. so correct. If, yes, if you want a totally different and unique dining experience, the chef's table is the one for you. Now, you can't, there's no menu. You don't choose what you want to eat. And not everyone enjoys every food item that they present. But trust me, it's what anywhere between eight and 13 course meal Think with compa yeah. co companion wines or companion sodas, whichever you prefer. And mm -hmm. you are full by the time this experience is over. It is an event. Think of it as a short excursion on the ship. So if you're going somewhere and you're like, well, I've been to all these places. I don't want to do short excursions here again. Think about the chef's table. Yes. And you know, the thing is that um, we've had something different at every chef's table. We have never been at 
a, a chef's table and had the same thing we had on last ship. They have smoked duck at the end of the table. They have smoked salmon at the end of the table. They have done it all. Yes. Um, and here's what uh, Captain Billy says. Captain Billy says the best food is the escargot on Royal Caribbean. Mmm, buttery. The worst food, a 12-hour French toast on Sea Day Brunch on Carnival. Yuck. <laughs> so let's talk about both of those. First of all, I love escargot. escargot. I, I, I love a good escargot. If you like butter and salt, you're going to like escargot. <laughs> I like the escargot. Some escargots, they're just, first of all, escargot is snails, for those of you that may not know, um, and they can be quite tough. They used to serve them in the snail shell, and nowadays they serve them more in the little round dish that's got the little yeah. holes. You usually get and, six or eight of them, I think. Right, and they quit serving it in the shell for many reasons. Um, but sometimes you can get a really good escargot that is marinated in butter and wine sauce. Mm. Sometimes it's butter and olive oil, yeah. and sometimes it's just butter. Well, when it's just butter, to me, it's so oily, or if it's just, uh, you know, sometimes it's just so oily, you just choke it down. But the ones that are marinated in wine and butter, those are the ones that are like, yummy. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what, you got to give it a try. Don't let it fool you, knowing that it snails, because it's actually good. And this is the thing. That appetizer is free. Try okay? it. Try so, it. Order one and the two of you, I think you get anywhere between four and six escargot, depending on the size of the escargot. So get an escargot dish and share it between the two of you. Yeah. And then at least you can say, you know what? We had escargot. You can act, we like, had you, escargot. You act like you some wealthy people. We had escargot. <laughs> Same way with caviar. If they ever have caviar, just try it. Because not all caviar, first of all, is made from fish eggs. Did you know that? They have all kinds of, there's tapioca caviar, there is pineapple caviar. So it's not all made out of fish eggs, just saying. And then the worst, the 12 hour French toast at the Sea Brunch Buffet on Carnival. Before I had, uh, before I could, before I was told I couldn't eat gluten, mm. I loved the 12 hour French toast on some ships. Some ships, it was like so it. soggy and so mushy, yeah. it was just disgusting. I think some of them really were 12 hours. <laughs> and then I got others that it was nice and crispy on the outside, and it was great. So there again, we have a little disclosure. It depends on your chef. Yep. I'll tell you what, we was talking a little bit ago, too, about... Uh, oh, we got some more chat. Can we oh, do some yeah, more Yeah, go. Okay. Let's roll. Uh, TNT says, being a chef for 25 plus years, it's the first thing you learn. People will try most anything if if it looks good. All about that appearance if again. It looks All good. about that presentation. Right on, Tom. Yep. And Mark the Shark says, okay, the Mark the Shark name will stay. Right on, Mark the Shark. 67% <laughs> of the people love the Mark the Shark name. Um, okay, so they're, and they're telling me that they got their links pinned. Okay, thank you guys for letting me know you got your links pinned today. Um, and Shanster, can someone guide you through pinning your link? Eddie, um, if no one's seen that yet, Eddie would be more than glad to help you out with that. And of course, Eddie's put up the link for the Saturday stroll. Thank you, Eddie. Um, here we go. What's the Gaylord say? Oh, uh, you have over the top personalities. You hide it well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well they're, over, they're over there in that closet, John. We keep him hidden over there. There you go. And good morning to Odom's Homestead. Good morning, you guys. And once again, this is another picture that I, first of all, I just love pictures I like of couples. It. Yes. I do. I love pictures of couples and you just look so much in love with each other. I just love that. Um, okay. So Speaking Eddie of is telling me that, yep, he's got, he's got Shannon covered. And let's see what Cruz Nets say here. They say, I usually get pretty tipsy or close to drunk on the first day on the ship. <laughs> That's Mike talking, not Tracy, by the way. And here's their favorite. Shaq's chicken is his favorite. Now, hey, we've never had Shaq's chicken yet. You will, though. In December, we'll be going on that new XL Carnival class ship, the Mardi Gras, and we're going to try that Shaq's chicken. We Based are. on Mike's recommendation. That's right. Thank you for that, Mike. And good morning to Roy and Becky's travel. Howdy, howdy. We're awake, we think. <laughs> <laughs> good, good morning to you. Aaron says, Ringo must have seen the video of the little dog that goes down the slide and runs back up to go again. <laughs> Yes, Aaron, that's what he does. He 
He gets down here, wants me to pick him up, put him on mama's lap, and then he jumps down. And he comes around, wants me to pick him back up, put him on my... Usually when yeah. he does the up and down thing, it's really because he wants something else. He wants cheese in his dog food because he hasn't ate his dog food yet. <laughs> so he's like, uh, can somebody bring some shredded cheese over here, please? And so he thinks if he does the jumping up and down, I'll see what he wants me to go out there too. Or he's trying to tell me that the wee-wee pad needs to be changed. Because she always changes it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not I'm the one that changes them. <laughs> Laura Jones says, I love lox. So lox and bagels, that is lox. something that they serve on lots of cruise ships. Yes. And I don't like lox. And I like the bagel. I like the cream cheese, but I don't like the lox. You can't have it no more. Though. No, I can't. Unless I got a gluten-free one. I don't know. Speaking of that. Here, some, some more chat. Oh, we got, TNT we says, tons of chat. So what ready. do you think about the blue iguana? I guess being from California, we're spoiled with great Mexican food. Oh, so, guess what? Here in Florida, we are too. <laughs> we are spoiled here too as well. as good. First of all, in Florida, good Mexican food comes from... Not necessarily Mexico. We have a lot of people here from, um, uh, what are those? Uh, with the Mio Rancho, where were they from? Um, oh. Bo, um, uh, El Salvador. El Salvador. Yeah. Yes. So we have El Salvador. We have Mexican. We have Cuban. Mm -hmm. We have the Caribbean. So we our we Mexican, all where a lot of like tech, uh, Tex-Mex over in, Tex in, Mex in Texas from Mexico. Um, so we love really good Mexican food. Our problem with the blue iguana is, once again, the bar. Yeah, it, blue iguana is good until you walk over there and see that it looks like the wild animals ran through it and just, you it know, It looks like a bunch it. of elephants ran through the middle of the, and, and everything's just not even in the dishes anymore. Oh, yeah, it's just, oh, that, that can just ruin you. You got this really great can. taco in your hand, you go, go put some toppings on it, and you go over there and you're like, oh, I don't even want this no more. I know it. <laughs> and good morning to Michael the Realist. Good morning, Michael. So, in talking about, um, in talking about um, Guy's Burger and the blue iguana, if we're going to eat that food, we're not going to eat within sight of the toppings bar. No, we're going to go way on over the other yeah, side. Because if I eat within sight of the toppings bar, I'm not going to eat it. Only because I can see the toppings bar. Or if I've walked past the toppings bar, I, I'm sorry, you know what I do a lot of times with my burger? I don't go to the toppings burger. I go to the salad bar and I'll get my lettuce and my right. tomato off the salad bar. So there's a tip for you from Sea Lake Journeys right there. You don't have to go to the toppings bar with your guys' burger. No. Tiptoe back on in there to the buffet. In fact, you can go to the buffet first and go ahead yep. and get your lettuce, tomato, your onions, and all that stuff you want. Yep. And then go get your burger. Yep. CruiseNet says, I catch it all. We just don't post everything. I only use probably 5% of the footage I record. Yes. Really? Wow. I, think, I think that's all of us. Well, and good morning yeah. to Jennifer from Embarkation Nation. Good morning to you. Another Jennifer. one of our members. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I She's allergic to fun, y'all. <laughs> Um, and here's a but destination fun. Uh, try the halibut in Alaska. So good. Hey, we'll be in Alaska and we're going to take your recommendation. I will try it. I, I promise you. And I'll even video it. And so um, Billy says that I should try anchovies. Well, first of all, I don't <laughs> like anchovies. I'm going to sneeze again. <laughs> Excuse me. Look what you did, Captain Billy. <laughs> I don't like anchovies. But we were on a carnival cruise ship one time and they had squid yes. on the buffet. I remember that. And they had squid and ceviche and yep. some other um, raw fish mm -hmm. items. I walked past that part of the buffet. I could not eat at the buffet. The smell of raw fish stunk so bad. I couldn't take it. She couldn't take it. I couldn't eat there. I told you, I said, you can eat, but I can't. I'll meet you somewhere else. Yeah, you know, we couldn't even eat at the Bistro Sailor Mer because it was full anyway. We were going to try it, but it was sold out. Every but time I walked by. Sometimes it, walking past it, right, it just uh, smelled a little too fishy for her. And I don't like fish. And, and when he loves fish love on a cruise fish, ship. Yeah. He orders fish yeah. almost every night on a cruise ship. Yeah. And then we sit next to some couples sometimes. They love that mussel um, dish, you know, yeah, the seafood. the open it's, mussels, yeah. Right, it's got the open mussels and calamari and all this, you know, and it's it stinks so bad. I'm like, mm. oh, that's on the menu tonight. I'm going to have to sit on the other side of you because <laughs> I can't take the smell of their dinner. And good morning to the Cruising Coozies. Cruising Coozies. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I want to show you something there, Cruising Coozies, while you're here. Check this out. When I'm not in that wheelchair, he knows what I'm talking about here. I, I, I'm walking around on this thing, and people don't even notice. Even if I'm in shorts, even at the airport, they say, sir, why are you in this line? I says, but do you have metal in your body? I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> and so um fearless rammer says the escargot on royal caribbean is the best oh there you go y'all gotta try that if you're on royal caribbean get that escargot. and good morning to morning sprout that's moon sprout saying good morning but i'd rather she, she 
Look at look at her. She's so pretty. I know. I know that she's agree. Moon Sprout, but she's Morning Sprout to me. Okay. She can be Moon Sprout to you, and she's Morning Sprout to me. We should call her Twenty Four Hour Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Sprout. And you get a squeaky for that. And here's Mark the Shark. Mark the Shark's is best. Mmm, the chef's table. There you go. We have to agree, Mark. Yes. Cruise Nuts, go to Mr. Sancho's overnight stay, and the shrimp cocktail is like two dozen shrimp. Wow. wow. You order a shrimp cocktail all, at Sancho's, and I you get two eat, dozen shrimp. I can't eat that many shrimp. I can give it a whirl. <laughs> but some days I could. And some the moon sprouts goes to a yum. We're talking yum. about food so early yum, in the yum, morning. Yum. Yay. I know, right? And good morning to James. James Cantonese, he says, never been on a cruise yet, but you're fixing to go you're in March, go James. On. You are going to love it, James. You just keep popping in here and listening to all this great stuff. You're going to love it, brother. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Mm. And good morning to PSV Odyssey. That's Paul. Mr. Paul Vines, don't forget to go check out the PSV Odyssey also. That's right. And check Paul S. Vines out on Facebook and find out what the TV guide is for YouTube. There you go. Law Jones says, worst made especially for me by a lovely Haitian cook. Beans with lots of mixed peppers. I'm allergic. Oh, my God. Quickly switched my plate with her son. Oh, oh you're allergic goodness. to something. You can't eat that. Oh, oh wow. My, and you know, what is, you know what's so funny is they're always so proud of what they made for you. Yes. That you hate breaking their heart that either you didn't like it or you can't eat it. You know, that's like me of being gluten-free. Yeah. I wanted that lasagna on the Sky Princess Chet. And his sister ordered lasagna every night because she loved it so much. Yes. I wanted some... And that brings us to one of the best dishes. I'll tell you what, the Sky Princess, that lasagna, I've, I've ate a lot of lasagna in my life, and it's all good, but nothing ever rang my bell. Like this this lasagna was over the top best. My sister was there. She ate it every night on that seven-day cruise. That's mm -hmm. how good it was. It was. Lasagna on the Sky Princess. I don't know why it was better than everybody else's on the planet, but it is. But it is. I'm telling you, it is fabulous. And I'm putting up the link for um, Paul Vines. He has what we call YouTube Facebook. Uh, oh, you did YouTube, it? Okay. Uh, what do we call it? YouTube TV Guide. TV Guide YouTube. Yes. And so he's also I, got a good channel, too. Yes, don't I forget. put up the link for his Facebook page. If you want to know what's going on on YouTube any given day of the <laughs> week, Go to his page and mark his page as one of your favorite Facebook pages, and you will always know what's happening on YouTube. And don't forget to check out the PSV Odyssey channel, too, on and YouTube. And if you're not on Paul's list on the YouTube uh, TV guide, you just ask him to include you, and he would be more than glad to do that. Yeah. And so here's Mark the Shark. Mark the Shark says, best chicken and mozzarella sticks with heavy marinara sauce will be found on Coke. Okay. It's a special chicken. They just don't put it on the menu. You have uh, to ask for it. That's is that the Woo! Um, uh, is you that, that um, uh, chicken and mozzarella sticks with heavy marinara sauce found with Coke. You have to ask for it. It's really? something that he's created his own self. Oh. And you can ask for it. <laughs> oh, I see. I was lost on that one. Yeah, I got There's it. Danny yeah, D with another joke. Since another they're going over my head anyway, Woo! Danny, right? Let's do it. Another joke. Why did the rock couple break up? Because they couldn't comment to each other. <laughs> <laughs> they should give the guests electric bug zappers i know i totally agree with that but you know i'm not sure if i even want to eat with the food all over there like that and here's the gaylords the sound of the zap zap <laughs> uh, the gaylords say the worst i ever had was a piece of what they called beef from the carvery it tasted like rotten meat and had so much fat it was terrible i had to skip dinner yeah you know when you get something bad like that and you look at it and you still take a bite of it you're like okay guess what yeah. i'm skipping a meal today yeah i know what you're talking about there the gaylords that's I, that has happened to me with <laughs> mushrooms i used to love mushrooms and one time one mm -hmm. time i got a spoilt mushroom and i will i just can't eat mushrooms again just putting yeah. a mushroom in my mouth is just like Mm, I think I'm going to puke. Blah, blah, blah. And Mark the Shark says, it was that stupid voice texting that messed up what he was trying to say. Okay. Uh, Mark says, I hate the voice chatting. What I was trying to say is the best chicken and mozzarella sticks on Coco K. <laughs> on Coco K. Okay. Oh, geez. Thanks for fixing that up. And for us, everybody's <laughs> putting up links. I just love that. I love it so much. And yes. here is Shanster. Thank you, moderators. Uh, Shanster says, I love the baked Alaska. Oh, 
You know so, what? They do so have funny because great... a lot of people don't know what baked Alaska is, and mm-hmm. and they are now sure. now that that C word is over and cruising is back to normal. They're walking around with the base, baked Alaska yes. on flames now. Yes, and I love seeing the flames. They what? And they prayed mm-hmm. around in the dining room with the baked Alaska. Uh, the Carnival Freedom. I did that. I, I know. Think we, I think we put that on one they of the videos. On, they did it on the Princess too. Yeah, they just tried mm-hmm. it on Princess too. Right. All right. Yeah. So hey, you want to know hear another good one or yeah, another bad another one? one. Uh, I don't. Well, let's see what uh, Tom. Good morning, Tom. So nice to have you with us this morning. Tom, we're adding a few videos a day right now and getting new gear ready for our Valentine's cruise. That's All right. right. That's right. So TNT will have some new material for you about cruising after Valentine's. And good morning to Rayleigh Creative Travel. Hey, Blaine and Mallory, what's going on? And if you have been in the chat and I miss saying hello mm. to you, please forgive me and and put in the chat, hey, you missed me, Robin, and I will be more than glad to say hello to you. <laughs> right on. Hey, well, let's go with another good one then. One of my favorite things on a cruise ship is the gelato on Princess. Woo, on the Sky Princess, they got that gelato thing over there mm-hmm. set up. Oh, gelato. They say, oh, it's just the same as ice cream. No, it's, it's not. not. So when we were talking about our blessing to YouTube channels this year was that we hope that all of you tripled in size. And Tom is saying that they started this year with 23 subscribers. So they have already doubled in Double. size. Let's give them that triple. How about wow. that? You're going to triple and you're, you're going to go beyond that. Mm-hmm. You're going to yep. go beyond that. TNT. Here's Eddie. Uh, let's hit that link, y'all. We're missing some likes, 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 likes. <laughs> And my, Michael the Realist is telling everyone hello and happy weekend and a very blessed, joyful weekend to you and yours. And to you as well, Michael. Thank you for that. That's so, that, you know, Mike's a, just a great guy. Fantastic mm-hmm. guy. We love seeing you, Michael. Thank you for being we here. Yes. One of our great supporters as well. Here we go. Fearless Rambler says, loved 150 Central Park, the tuna tartar made at the table side on the Oasis. Oh, tuna tartar. Just, it's so gross to me. I love sushi. I love vegetable sushi. And whenever they have t- tuna sushi, it's, oh, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> And Eddie's reminding everyone to hit the likes up. Ooh, thank you for that, Eddie. Likes up. Listen to everyone. Hit the likes up. And good morning to Diane. Good morning, Diane. Good to see you this morning. Mm, we're having a good time here this we morning are, talking about food. Are. Food and is always a great time. Diane topic. is with me. Sorry, no raw no, tuna. No raw tuna for mm-hmm. Diane. No. You know, I'm no. really not into the raw fish either. I have eaten ceviche, and it's okay. But uh, absolutely raw is not for me. Yeah, here's here's Blaine. Riley says, I'm here late. I have a question. What's the best food on NCL? My first NCL is coming up next weekend. For anybody wow. in the chat who's been on Norwegian, let Blaine know in the comments right here, what is the best food on NCL? Because we are Cause not we going on NCL until 2024. Right. Yeah, next year so, on the breakaway. Next yeah. year on the breakaway, we will know. And we want to know too, so please yep. put it in the chat. And this is an example of oh. Chet's little sign. That's right. If you put this up, hashtag SLJ, like Fearless Rambler just did, one of our fantastic, wonderful moderators who will has, put you up. Who has more than tripled in size lately. How about and that? It's so funny because we do, we get we, people, blame, bleh, 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 people bleh. blame us for lots of things, bleh, right? Bleh, bleh, bleh. They blame us that we changed CME traveling to see me traveling. That wasn't us. We heard somebody else say that. I guess we just said it more. And then well, we say it every day. <laughs> Don't forget, after us, go to see me traveling. But we love it when people blame us for things because we just like it. And so uh, Fearless Rambler, we just randomly made a suggestion to him. And he now is reaching out to us saying, thank you for that suggestion. That was an awesome suggestion. So, hey, there you go, right? Right. (laughs) So, anyway, let's go back to another bad one. Let's go to a bad one. You know, we talked about the best pizza at sea was on the Princess ships over there at Alfredo's. Well, the worst pizza we ever had was on Independence of the Seas. and we, Oh, my gosh. You know, we got to make a disclaimer here. Don't forget, every ship can be different. It could be way better. It, and maybe they got a different chef in next week and it got better again. But or the, maybe the chef wasn't <laughs> feeling good and he just wasn't on his game. I don't know. <laughs> but the, the time we were on there, we ate it a couple of times thinking maybe they just had a bad day. But the pizza was like, I think we went. they went to Dollar Tree and got one of those frozen pizzas for $1.25 and cooked it. Cooked the box and left the pizza. It was just not very good. It's not good at all. Not good nah. at all. So we and, were disappointed with that because we'd heard their pizza was really good. Mm-hmm. Well, 
but it wasn't. <laughs> but that was just that one cruise on it one ship. right right it, and like i said it could be just you get different ships you get different staff you get different chefs and it could be coming in or going out or maybe it was their first time on a royal we don't know but you know the thing is about we always say about every ship is don't say that cruise line has bad ship no or, thank you, a bad, bad ship. ship they have a bad ship <laughs> 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 now I'm choking. <laughs> Don't say that cruise line has bad food. Or even that ship for that matter. Because right. like I say, different chefs in, different staff in, and it can change. But yes. that was just, we had to pick a bad one, and that was a bad mm -hmm. one for us. We got some more things going Diane on. Diane says, show. Ava Potterfield is 11 away from 1,000. If you enjoy live music and family-friendly conversation, please check her out. We do not Ava know who Potterfield. that is. We'll have to find out we, who that yes, is. Yes, we do not know who that is. There's so many channels out there we don't know who they are, you know? Yeah. And Michael says, Diane Phoenix, hello to your friend. Oh, Hi, happy good mm -hmm. Saturday morning to you. Mm -hmm. The Cruise Nuts. Hey, Fearless Rambler, thanks. Tried to get my drone crew to film us in Cozumel, getting back on the ship, but I have them doing another job for me that day. If they get it done, they still might. Okay. Mm. And so Cruising Koozie says, we can smell that rock is cooking. <laughs> What's cooking? Oh, yeah, we know the rock. Right on, Cruising Koozies. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Dwayne Johnson, yes. One of our favorites. <laughs> Okay, so we got another good one right here at the tea time. The tea time on the Prince uh, Caribbean Princess was wonderful. Oh my gosh, the scones and the tea. They gave us so many options for tea too, mm -hmm. which was, was, was great. And the little sandwiches, little tuna sandwiches, little egg salad sandwiches, all kinds of other little sandwiches. Man, that stuff was fantastic. I ate so much of that. I was like, I don't think I need supper tonight. But when it comes to tea time, so far, we've had tea time on Carnival a couple of times and on Sky Princess. Um, and Caribbean Princess. And Caribbean, and yes. I prefer Sky Princess's tea time. I enjoy their tea time much better. And I don't really know why. Okay. I, I can't really explain why. And Cruise Nut says they like frog legs. So I like frog oh. legs too. Mm. But once again, a frog leg, frog legs and alligator. Those are the two things that I grew up eating because we live in Florida and even turtle. But if it's not cooked right, it can taste very fishy. So people say that, you know, it tastes like chicken. If it's cooked right, it does have a nice white meat taste. But if it's not, or I shouldn't say cooked properly, marinated properly, cooked properly, or cleaned properly, it can have a very fishy taste to it. How about that? Um, how about that? And here we go with some more. Okay, Cruz and Cruzy says had snails on the symphony, and mm. oh my, are they delicious! And Lal just yes. gotta have that butter and garlic. Butter and garlic. That's Let me right. tell you, mm, Fearless Rammer says love it when the fish eggs pop in your mouth. Mm. Yeah, they're like little pop rocks <laughs> when you bite them. I know, right? I, I like that too. <laughs> uh, Destination Fun Royal has yummy escargot. That's right. Mm. Martin Shark says I got addicted to the chef's table to the point where there was one cruise last year. I was on the Harmony of the Seas. And the chef's table every night of the week. The food is so impressive. Mm, I love yum, the chef's yum, table. It's yum. one of my favorite dining experiences. I know, right? It's mm -hmm. hard to get on. You got to hurry up and get up there to book it. Yep. Ready Creative says, I love Eggs Benedict on Carnival at Sea Day Brunch. Yes. Oh, yes. you know what I love? I love their uh, Huevo Snow. Oh, it's a. It's Huevo a, New, right, Rancho it's a, El Huevo or something like yes, that. Yes, Rancho El Huevo something like that. It's a tortilla. <clears throat> and then it's got the meat on it mm. and the um, the. <clears throat> You know, lettuce and tomato and pico de gallo or it's whatever got steak it is. And, and all and, that. Right. Yes. He loves that. On yeah. Lunch. I love it. I'm and Eddie it. is putting up the link for the Saturday stroll tonight at 6 p.m. Yes. We are the kickoff for the stroll. That's right. And uh, <clears throat> Darren, Darian, uh, the magnificent Germany, is our guest tonight. Yep. And we showcase all of the videos that are in the stroll. And um, we have a nice chat with at least one spotlight. We spotlight at least one creator every week. And we are on at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come time. on, check it out. If you didn't get enough of us this morning, come be with us for an hour tonight as we present to you the channels that are going to be in the Saturday stroll right behind us. And good morning to the Bud Files. Bud Files, good morning to you. And Clock says 32 in the chat and only 21 thumbs up. Oh, What's wrong no. with this? Whoa. I feel like home alone. <laughs> Martin Shark says, I actually did say the chef's table on Celebrity Edge with Captain Kate was perfect. I also did the chef's table on Beyond with Captain Kate. So amazing. There you go. Hey, who doesn't want to go to the chef's table with Captain I Kate? I know, right? That's more of that atmosphere kind of presentation thing, ain't it? Yep. 
Aaron says, so far, <clears throat> the 12 hour French toast is a real thing and not French toast that sat for 12 hours. That okay. That's true. That is very true. <laughs> yes. What it is, if you, if any of you that are not familiar Thank you with for that, Aaron. <laughs> what the 12 hour French toast is, the 12 hour French toast, what they do is it's a, it's a wedge, like um, Texas toast kind of wedge bread. It's a very thick wedge and it is marinated in peaches and peach juice. Okay. And it's called the 12 hour French toast only because it's a, it's a style of cooking. It's not 12 hours old. <laughs> it's a style of cooking and it's a, it's supposed to have the taste and the, um, bring to remembrance what peach cobbler tastes like. That's what they're trying to exude to you in the 12 hour French toast uh, is peach cobbler. That's where they're trying to go with that. And the Bud Files wants everyone to know they, they did add their thumbs up. Thank you for that, Sue or Joe, whichever That's one of y'all right. that so is. So if you've not subscribed <laughs> to our channel, we would love to have you as part of the Sea Lake Journey crew. And if you've not become a member yet, just click that join button down below. And we have memberships ranging from $1.99 a month to nine ninety nine a month. That's right. We're like the haunted mansion. There's always room for another one. That's right. And we always give shout outs to our members in our videos, our in screens, our descriptions. You will get extra shout outs from us just because you're a member. And sometimes you get an extra <laughs> squeaky too. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, back to our food for a second. There you know, you we go. talked about how great that gelato was over there on Princess. Guess what? Sometimes on Carnival, that ice cream machine ends up on my worst list. Not because the ice cream's bad, but because the herd of animals that raided all those little salad places over at uh, Guy's Burger. And it's a herd of animals. We're gonna we're gonna say it's a herd of animals. Broken <laughs> and uh, what do you call those things? Ice cream cones oh, laying gosh. on the thing, and ice cream running all over the machine and down the floor and. <laughs> Oh, it looks so bad that I'm like, uh, I don't think I want an ice cream after all. No, because it's it's almost disgusting sometimes. So it goes back to the presentation again. Yes. I see that presentation. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want that. I don't want it. No. And good morning to the Z Show. Good morning, Z Man. Good morning, Z Man. Z -Man. There's only one Z Man, and he is there on the, the Z Show cruise. Ride. And here's Destination Fun. The Z, Z Man. Man. <laughs> Z Man. <laughs> Um, here, uh, what else you got, Jeff? Oh, we got uh, uh, another good one that we really like, the wine tasting on the Caribbean Princess. Yes. So the wine tasting... It made on, our good and bad list, didn't it? It does. Wine tasting makes our good and bad list. And let's, we got some pizza here for a second. Oh, let's go back to pizza. Hey, Fearless says anchovy pizza is the best. No one sells it around here. You can't get an anchovy pizza there, really? Wow. It's an option on all the places around here. Mm -hmm. to order it. Yeah. Eddie Lugo says, I like squid fried. So, you fried know, squid. The thing, mm. and I stress if you go on a cruise ship, try something you've never had before, whether you're getting mm -hmm. it from the buffet or whether you're getting it in the dining room, try something you've never had before. Yeah. I had a pumpkin soup. Now, I, I love soups, and it was a um, spicy pumpkin soup. Oh my God, it was the best soup ever. And then Chet ordered a soup one night in the dining room, and I was like, order that soup again. Because I want some more of it. <laughs> Here's Captain Billy. I don't like fish either, Robin, except for mahi-mahi. I like that fish, but I haven't liked any other fish I've tried. Oh, I'll tell you what, Captain Billy, get the best fish. Carnival does okay, okay with fish. Mm -hmm. But Princess, they're the Mac Daddy of fish. I eat a different fish every day on that cruise ship. Mahi-mahi is fantastic, but they've got other fish too. That uh, Orange Ruffy and... And uh, whitefish and, mm -hmm. and cod and different ones that are just, and they cook them to make it perfect. Mm. Now, I love seafood. I love seafood. I love crab legs. I love lobster. I just don't <clears throat> like fish. And I think I grew up eating a lot of fish. Um, you know, my mom loved to fish. And so we, I grew up eating lots of fish. I used to love flounder. I think I just somewhere along the line just became aware of the smell of the fish and that's what has turned me off because we go back to the visual presentation mm -hmm. or the smell of the food yeah. and chet loves to smell his food the first thing he does when he gets food is he starts smelling it i'm like what are you smelling mm. or he'll pick it up like this he'll pick it up and he'll be looking at it i'm like look what are you looking for you looking for a heron or something he's like no i want i that's he's all about the aroma of the food and all of that and i'm more about the visual presentation. Of she it. looks good 
And she smells good too. Stop it. Mm. Hey, look, come on, back to the show. Here, oh, right. Hey, these chats. Hey, oh, TNT says we think the steakhouse ribeye was our favorite and we love the presentation of the smoked oysters. Yep. Mm, mm -hmm. Presentation again, brother. Yes, sir. Diane says if seafood smells fishy, usually it means it's not fresh. Really? That's I a, was ooh, not aware tip. of that. I did not know that either. But I know that some some tip. some fishes, some fish foods, have a stronger odor than others. Um, for example, like catfish. Catfish can have a, a stronger odor than, say, flounder. Um, and I guess it's freshwater versus saltwater, maybe. I really don't know. I don't know, but I know Princess really does fish right. If you are a fish lover, I recommend any Princess ship. We've been on nine or ten different uh, cruises with princess and the mm -hmm. fish is always spectacular or even their snapper anything is good and mike, mike hi mike magic i remember you we yes. met magic mike on the uh, caribbean princess i know i know so we hung out with him <laughs> a lot um we mike it's so nice to have you with us and so you said that you thought you glad you found us on a live so we do lives every mon morning monday through friday from 8 to 8 30 eastern central time on eastern saturday standard East, time. eastern standard time and on saturdays from 10 to 11 on eastern standard, eastern time. standard time like right now <laughs> The time you're watching this now, 10 to 11. Yep. So, yeah, we're Magic Mike's actually on one of our videos where we showed some of the people we met on Christmas. Yes, Princess. yes. So, it's so nice to see you. I'm so glad you joined us, and I'm so glad you found us. Oh, and Mike. Help, help please. <laughs> and Moonsprout says 24 hours sprout. Kind of likes that. 24 hour sprout. Right That's on right. Moonsprout. 24 hour sprout, baby. Um, here we go with Aaron. Oh. Aaron, yes. Diane Phoenix, I've heard as well that fresh fish does not smell fishy. You know, that's a good tip. I don't know if I've ever heard that, but I've heard it I've now, ever, and I, I'm paying attention. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever heard that before. I'm paying attention. I'm listening mm -hmm. to you. Uh, Eddie Lugo says, Captain, all you're supposed to eat is seafood. <laughs> that's, you know, that's right, Captain Billy. All you can have is seafood or Captain Crunch. Those are the only two items you're allowed to eat. <laughs> and um, the other thing is that... Um, uh, some some so. things taste like dirt. Like I grew up eating crawdads. To me, crawdads, if they're not cleaned properly, taste like dirt. Mm. They just taste like dirt. So if you like dirt. <laughs> Here we go. The fearless rammer says, was uh, served in Asia a plate of rice with a big tuna fish head on it. Looked bad, but it was very good. Yeah, I see. You I don't know? know if I would try it with the with the fish head there. I just don't know if I would try I, it. I would try it only because that's, that's how I roll. But yeah, I would give it a try. Uh, Fearless Rambler also mm -hmm. says Coco K, the special chicken sandwich. Special oh. chicken sandwich. Maybe that's what uh, uh, Mark the Sharp was talking about, too. And so Fearless Rambler says, Robin, what about those magic mushrooms? Well, don't really <laughs> know about that. <laughs> You'd know more about that up there in the woods than I would. And good morning. We have a new person in our chat. So let's get out the celebration. Kathy Spurgeon Travels gonna, is here with I'm us. I'm sorry. This goes to Mike, too, because he's the first time he's been in our chat as well. Oh, we're going on the breakaway as well next year, Kathy. So this is a question we're looking for the answer to as well. So yes. anybody in our chat, once again, we got Blaine from Rayleigh Creative and now Kathy Spurgeon Travels and Sea Lake Journeys wanting to know food on the Norwegian, especially the breakaway. How about that? And we want to welcome Kathy and Mike both to the first time being on our live chat. Ready? Yeah. Everybody give us a Thank you for, yes. Thank you for Thank being you here. Thank you for joining us. We really do appreciate you so very, very much. <laughs> yes, we appreciate you very much. Uh, if you come here and you don't know us, we have a little bit of a sense of humor, uh, just a little bit. And we like to have fun and a little bit of information, too. So thanks for being here. We do. And good morning to Dawn. Dawn Ray good B. Morning. Good morning to you. Uh, let's see. So, uh, and the Moonlight Adventures. Moonlight Adventures. Good morning. Another channel that has grabbed hold of our blessing and has tripled in size as well, haven't they? Doubled. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I know that they've they, grown enough to I hit know the that thousand, they've at anyway. least doubled, yes. and yes. I'm pretty sure they're almost yes. close to tripling. So once again, we are going to throw our blessing out there, not just to the YouTube channels, but to every single yeah. person out there. Mm. We triple your blessings in 2023. Or more. Or more. We don't what? limit it to triple. It could be more. There you go. And here's the Moonlight Adventure. <laughs> Our favorite food on Carnival has to be the Pizzeria del Capitano. Hey, oh, yes. It. So, yeah. okay. First of all. Yeah. Before. Before. I became gluten-free. Yes. And the gluten-free thing. Not by choice. Not by choice. Um, I loved 
their Cucina lasagna. Del Capitano. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, their lasagna was fabulous. But I'm yeah. telling you what, though, it's not as good what we had on that Sky Princess, though, this past time. Mm-hmm. You didn't get to taste I didn't it. Get no. To try it. Yeah. But I did. Mm-hmm. So, those of you that are not aware of celiac disease, you either have it as a young person or it is can, always there. And when you become older in life, it. Oh, it rises here. up. It says, hello. Yes. Yeah, so you skipped out on me for 50 years, but no more. Yep. Yeah, so because I skipped out on them in almost 60 years, I'm here we go. <laughs> so back to back to our food thing. Some oh, of we the, want to say good morning oh, good to morning. Baby Shark. Shark, shark, shark. shark. Baby, baby shark. shark. Good morning, Tiffany. Good morning, Tiffany. And uh, so back to our bad, bad food items uh, while we're here, the gluten-free items. The gluten-free items are not that good. I've been eating them with her on the ship as well. Actually, we've ran into some that you can't tell the difference. Some of them are very good, and some of them are just not so good. It seems mm-hmm. like the difficulty is with bread. Yes, and we want to give a shout out to the Z Man. Z Man, today is his 14 days of being sober. Mm. So, Z Man, we are so proud of you, and we are here for you. And congratulations! Yay, Z Man! 14 days sober. We are so proud of you, Z Man, and I do know that you poured out the fireball on camera just to prove it. So when you're willing to pour out what you think is gold, it becomes gold, baby. Makes it reality right there, don't That's it? That's right. It means you're committed. That's right. And everyone's congratulating Z-Man. Right on. That's great. What else you got? Uh, also, the uh, the we had one bad experience on wine tasting. Wine tasting is one of those that makes the best and the worst. And the worst one we had was just on this last cruise we were on. Uh, so let me it, tell you. The wine was bad. The wine tasting. We have a video coming out this week on the wine tasting. Sometimes the wine tasting is fabulous. They got like the best wines and mm-hmm. sometimes it's like, yeah, I don't know what you did. Um, we're not going to give away our video, but, and then sometimes they drag the wine tasting out forever. And I'm just sitting there going, oh, good God, I'm over this already. I'm just drinking. And so wine. we've already drank all of our wine. <laughs> the guy's still up there. But the wine was really bad this time. We don't know why. You know, they have what they call a wine sommelier. He's the one that's supposed to pick the wines for the ship and, and also do the pairings with food and things like that. We think they just had a really bad sommelier or they just had some bad wine they need to get rid of. Mm-hmm. Either way, I finally just took two of them. I was like, I don't like this and I don't like this. And so I mixed them together. It was a white wine and a red wine. Yeah. So, I made, so he made his own rosé. <laughs> and then I started drinking that and I was like, hey, this is actually not too bad. So the table, the lady sitting next to us go, well, we don't like them either. So they did the same thing. They mixed them together and go, hey, you're right. This is pretty good. So we did drink all the wine. So here's TNT's question. TNT says, so final question, how do you rank the cruise lines food wise? Uh, ultimately, my favorite is Princess. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they have the best fish. They have the best pizza. The best they french the best fries. Bu- the buffet's the best. The, the room yeah. service is the best. Overall food. They have more best categories yes, for us. For us. Yeah. Yes. We would have to say that. Now, yeah. it's not that we don't enjoy foods on other cruise lines. We me, do. The Carnival Freedom really surprised us. Let me tell you, the Carnival Freedom mm-hmm. had some really good food on it. Yes. Yeah, so we're not saying that they have awful food, but if we are going to rate who is the best for us, 100% hands down, is princess but we've only been on princess carnival and royal caribbean so we can't compare celebrity or we got uh, oh we got to tell you about the interesting experience we had at the uh, buffet on the independence of the seas we went up to order a hamburger because uh we, so we walked up they didn't have the hamburgers outside for some reason so we walked up there and said okay we'd like a hamburger please and so the guy looks at me and he puts up a, a piece of hamburger meat on my plate and oh, i look God, at it yes, and I he's done this. he's done walked off and i'm like hey Hey, I'm waiting. There's three guys back there working. Right, I said, "Hey, dude, can I get a bun with this?" And they, a different guy walked over and he looks and he grabs a bun, throws it on my plate, and walks off. I go, "Come back! I want lettuce! I want lettuce and tomatoes!" Like they didn't know how to assemble a hamburger, or they didn't want to assemble a hamburger. I really don't know what their problem was. So it took three guys five minutes for me to finally get a hamburger. <laughs> and here's what Kathy says. Kathy Spurgeon says, "I'm curious about NCO." Because I will be on Breakaway next Sunday. Next Sunday. Woo! Next Sunday. That's coming up quick, Kathy. Um, I'm sure you're going to find some food you like. I, I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, and so, Kathy, I don't know how long you've been we'll in our chat. But um, hold your little sign up there, chat. We have great moderators, Kathy. If you would like for us to share your link, you just put hashtag SLJ in the chat. And one of our moderators would be more than glad to share your link. One thing that we do ask that when you're, when you're subscribing to channels and following channels, don't mm-hmm. just subscribe and leave. 
subscribe, watch a video and support them. That's what it's all about. It's not about subscriber numbers. It's about support and being there for each other. Yeah. So uh, I wrote you down too, Kathy. We will check you out after the show as well. And here's clock. Hold on a second. Here was clock. Uh, clock family adventure says I have had bad pizza day to day. Just got to keep trying. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cause next day you may be a different guy in there and all of a sudden the pizza's good again. You're like, Hey, this is the pizza I heard about. <laughs> right. So the gluten-free pizza that I got on the sky princess was horrible. Oh, it was disgusting. It was this great big thick piece of bread that was already baked somewhere else on the ship. And they just put the toppings on it and yeah. melted the toppings on it. But then there's another channel that we watch. She's also gluten free and she got the best pizza on the same ship. I think you have to ask for it a little differently. I think we should have asked for a thin crust gluten free. We did not do that. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit on us. But uh, but I'm going to learn because when we get yeah. on the we can get on a princess ship. In, this, in May, I'm going to try it again. Yes. I'm, I don't give up on anybody because no, no. of the gluten-free options. No. Um, but on um, the Sky Princess, I got bread every night. And some nights the bread was just horrible. It was just awful. And one night I got carrot bread and it was fabulous. And I said, please tell this chef, make bread for me every night. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> and they did because it was great bread. Yeah. Then, then she had some good bread finally. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Fearless Rammer says Totino's frozen pizza. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise nuts. It's all about the management. Yes. It, it does really stop, is. Start at the top down. It really does. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Yeah. No question about that. Uh, TNT says we are watching on the TV and chatting on my phone. <laughs> All right. How about that? We have to do that sometimes too, Tom. We're laying in bed. Uh, Law Jones says it can also depend on what vendor or what port for the ingredients. That's true. That yeah. is very true. And whether or that? not the ingredients are fresh or canned. Yeah, because well. you may have great fish on this stop and then the next stop they pick up different fish and it, it ain't so good and the tabasco chef i'll never forget what he said he was making um pineapple margaritas and he says this is mexican pineapple yeah yeah <laughs> he said it's a mexican <laughs> and he said and opened up a can that was a tabasco chef yep. yeah and um shanster has put up t and the links are up for anyone that wants great. to connect with each other links are flying through our chat i love to see that excellent and here's law jones law says it can also oh, depend i put that up already yes, i'm so sorry did. oh yeah that's oh, the and the, the Ava are, Potterfield, that's who we don't know. We're going to have to, we mm. wrote that down. We're going to have to find that out for ourselves. Thanks for that, Eddie. Mm -hmm. And here's Kathy again. Kathy says, I love tea time on Holland America. So oh. I love tea time. I yeah. Every time we get on a ship that we've never been on before, I, I go to tea time. I love tea time. Tea time has been pretty good on Carnival and really good on Princess mm -hmm. as well. A fearless rambler tea time is just a yeah, fun thing to do. It is. And the spooky cat lady. Woo! Spooky cat lady. <laughs> thank Good morning. you. Welcome. For, thank you for joining us. <laughs> and here's Riley. Uh, yay. Tea time. Uh, tea time on Carnival Horizon was awesome. I tell you, we've had some good tea times that were so good that we couldn't hardly eat supper that mm -hmm. night. Yep. Yep. Oh, I missed cruising that. It, it was about Kroger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, did you not read this? No. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, I did. Tea time on Carnival Horizon was great. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going, oh, this is Spooky Cat Lady. We're going to do taste on Royal on the Enchantment. So, I used to love Enchantment that of the Seas. Okay. On, um, on some cruise ships, they used to have the taste bar. And I oh, love the taste yeah. bar. What it was, it was just a little bar they set up in like, uh, by the Ocean Plaza. Right. Yeah. And they, every night they just made something small, just a little taste of something. And you really got to taste yeah. different exotic things. And it was awesome. I love that. And they, maybe they'll bring that back now that the C word's all gone. And this is what Eddie says that is. Eddie finally got yes. the name for me. Huevos Rancheros. That's it. That's what I was trying to say, Eddie. Thank you, Fred. Mm -hmm. And good morning to Sharon Roland. Good Hello, morning, Sharon. Beautiful. And hi, guys. House of X. House of X. House of X Entertainment is in the house. That's Good morning right. To you. Good morning, you guys. Um, and here's Cruise Nuts. Mm. Try looking for the brand of pizza, uh, home chef Italian style in the deli, or please where they serve the hot food at. You oh. will be amazed at how good it is. That's in the okay, grocery Okay, the store. home chef Italian style. That's the brand mm -hmm. to look for. 
Oh, okay, I don't, I've never looked for that. I'll have to check it out. Mm -hmm. well, we have to find gluten free pizza now for her, so yeah. So, and I did find one brand, I can't think what it is off the top of my head, but it, I can't think of it, but it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Yeah. Here is Brett, uh, the strawberry bisque. See, oh, he loved yeah. that, and to me, it tasted yes. like baby food. Oh, that was great. You were right, Blaine. I loved it too, mm, brother. That was good. Uh, let me tell you, here's another thing that made our worst food item list gluten free foods. I think we already mentioned it again, but I wanted to present to you that. I always thought that it was salt, sugar, and fat. That it's not. It made our food taste <laughs> it's good. It's not. That they do, but that's not the only thing. No. Nope. Gluten. Gluten's what made food taste good. <laughs> gluten. You take the gluten out of some foods and. Blah, 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 blah. And good morning to Red Dirt Productions. Red Dirt Productions. Good Dirt morning. Productions. That's a new one too as well. Yep. And let's give you a shout out. Thank you for joining us. Good Woo! morning, Red Dirt. Red Dirt Productions. That's right. Red Dirt. And um, everybody's I, welcoming I Red down. Dirt. And here is Billy, uh, Captain Billy, what he says. Captain Billy says, I had the strawberry bisque once. It was all right. I haven't ordered it since, though. Try it again, Billy, because different cook, different it's, ship. It could be true. fantastic. Different chef, different ingredient. And you know what? It could be that sometimes they have stress fresh strawberries to work with and sometimes they have frozen strawberries yeah. to work with and i think that there that goes back to um who said it i think it was fearless rambler said it it depends on fresh versus canned versus frozen you know the ingredients make all the difference on how fresh the ingredients are and sometimes the guy making the stuff you know he may not wash his hand no <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> and Mark the Shark says he loves tea time. On the Love party. tea time. That's Mark the yes, Shark, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, so. Oh, and good morning to Bama. Bama Nola Adventures is here. Good morning to you. Love that car. He says, I think it. I'm addicted to your channel. We're so glad oh, you're addicted okay. to our channel. We love you. <laughs> Um, and here is Dawn. Dawn Ray says, ha ha, I have never had a desire to go on a cruise because of the herds. <laughs> Don, let me tell you, if you do go, though, you get past that herd on embarkation day. That's that first two hours that you're on the ship. You get past that, the herd disperses, and you will love it. You'll be hooked. We started in 2004, and we got hooked bad. Mm -hmm. you, and, but you know what? It's like anything. Yeah. Some people love road trips. Well, mm -hmm. I hate a road trip. I am sick and tired of being stuck in the car. Oh, God. But I love walking things. Yeah. But Chet can't walk so much anymore. So, you know, you you never know if you like it until you try it. Give it a try, Don. You might get hurt. <laughs> woo -hoo. I don't know what this is. TNT, Wahoo and White Sea is the best. Those are types of fish. Oh, okay. Yes. They are. Oh, I'll tell you, there are some good fish. Mm. What's this? Law Jones says, this is okay. We have um, a two-step program here, too. At the end, you're still addicted, but you don't care. <laughs> yeah, you're addicted, but you just don't care. Right on, oh, Lord Jones. I love that. I, I, That's love, I love the fact that you guys, I love your humor. I, I love the fact that you love our humor. I love the banter back and forth. I love everyone <laughs> welcoming everyone. If, if, you're, if you're new to our channel and you are always included, I, I may not put you up on the screen, but everybody in the chat is going to include you. And we just love you. And share our channel out there. Yeah. Um, we want more We want more crew. We want a bigger crew. We need a bigger crew. So here you go. The gamblers say, I'm the same with fish. I don't like most fish, but love seafood. Yeah, I love seafood too. That's her. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eddie says, I'm more about the taste of the food. Laugh out loud. Yep. Chet needs some peanut butter cologne. <laughs> I do. I do. Can you hook me up, Captain Billy? <laughs> oh, you know, I'll probably wear it too. <laughs> TNT says, I have to disguise the fish for Terry to eat it. Yeah, you know, sometimes you got to just throw some sauce on there, some vegetables on there, and uh, then they'll eat it. I, I, you can't disguise it. Catfish is a, Law Jones says, catfish is a bottom feeder, and it mm -hmm. has no scales. Yes. Yes, but it tastes mm -hmm. good. I love yeah. me some good I used fried to, catfish. Yeah. Mm. I just mm. can't do it anymore. Mm. Um, yeah. And here's Spooky Cat Lady. A spooky Cat Lady says, I mostly eat seafood on cruises. Same here, Spooky mm -hmm. Cat Lady. We do not eat fish. Or uh, other than a can of tuna fish, we it's don't too eat. Expensive. We don't eat fish anywhere here at home. No seafood at all. But when we get on that ship, that's where we get ours as well. Law Jones says shellfish smell like the underside of a wet rock. <laughs> it's not a wet rock. Oh, it's a dry rock. Sorry. I was just, <laughs> I was just want to say, is that true? <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, the shellfish can be a little aromatic. 
That's true. Uh, Cruz and Cousy say, our dad worked at Joe Tess, a fish restaurant, and growing up, the cars always stunk. Oh, uh, how about that? Yeah, you get the um, bad oh, fish. Oh, Eddie had a premiere. Oh, I've missed this. What? 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 Don't forget, over to Eddie Lou's Sugar premiere in one minute. We've already missed it. Oh, crap. I am. So, we will go back and uh, we will be part of hashtag team replay. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I did too. I am so sorry, Eddie. We will be part of hashtag team replay. You better believe oh, it. Oh man, I wanted to be part of premiere though. Oh well, I feel bad now. Uh, PSV says Kachina is amazing. Yes, it is. And Facebook mm. user, hello. Hey, there you go. We just mentioned y'all earlier this morning. Our Facebook users mm -hmm. saying hello from Glendale, Arizona. The only fish I order is salmon. It is a safe choice. Right on. There Facebook you go. user, hey, thanks for being here too. Kathy Spurgeon says, thank you for the welcome. This may be the third live that I have been able to watch. Awesome. Oh, how thank about that? Thank you so much. All right. Well, we're glad to see you out here with us. Mm-hmm. In the uh, chat. Here's here's Paul. <laughs> uh, PSV, if you drink enough of it, all wine tastes good. <laughs> okay, folks, you heard it here first. That's a tip from Mr. Paul. <laughs> I'm going to test that theory on our next cruise, Paul. Oh. Rating the food on Carvel, 7 out of 10. There you go. That's a pretty fair assessment across mm -hmm. the fleet, I would say. Spooky Cat Lady says Royal because I've only been on Royal. <laughs> 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 That's great. TNT says I'm a certified court of Master Sommelier. No way. Are you really, Tom? That's a wine taster, right? It's yeah. A, a wine connoisseur, I guess. This right? guy orders the wine, pairs up with the food, and, and tells you which one tastes good and goes with what. And you yeah. know what? I just got a great idea. TNT. I think this is what we should do. TNT and Sea Lake Journeys, we need to do some wines and taste them, and you tell us the deal behind them. Oh, and we got to get Mr. Paul Vines in on this, too. Oh, oh yes, Mr. Yossi. Paul Vines, yes. We're, yeah, we're going to include him, too, in this. Mm -hmm. A Facebook user says, overall, Princess is the best. Yep. Uh, so far, we're that's where we're leaning as well, Facebook user. Law Jones expressed TNT. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Vine says, hey, the cruise ship in Branson has good food. Okay. Oh, okay, Branson. They got a little probably a riverboat cruise ship up there, huh? Mm -hmm. Captain Billy says, I like Royal Caribbean's food better than Carnival's overall, but I do love me some Carnival chocolate melting cake. Oh, yeah. I can't forgot eat all anymore. About that. I can't eat, but he, that is his favorite. I forgot all about that, Captain yeah. Billy. That, you know, I feel that, ashamed. Uh, yes, because he didn't have that Chocolate on the list. molten cake on Carnival is a woo, is a must have. You have not sailed on Carnival until you have eaten a chocolate molten cake. That's right. Mm. And here's Darian. He says, howdy, Chet and Robin, and all in the chat from the road. Hey, right on. <clears throat> Thanks for being here, Darian. Mm. Um, let me see. So I everybody's have, telling him hello. I have no more tips And on so, um, Z-Man, our new thing for our channel, instead of putting hashtag creator, is... Is... Hashtag SLJ. Hashtag SLJ. And our and our moderators will put your link up. That's kind of like our new thing. Um, so let's see. What do we got with Kathy here? Um, uh, Kathy says the Clock Family Adventures. Yes, it's exciting to have so many vloggers on this cruise and looking forward that's to meeting. That's the vloggers so cruise. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. we will not be there because we have to book so far in advance because a handicap room because of this right here. <laughs> yeah, if you want a handicap room, you got to book them like two years ahead, <laughs> at least a year ahead, anyway. Uh, Law Jones says, my stomach just growled so loud that my dog ran. My dog ran. Can you imagine that? Your stomach growled so loud that the dog went, <clears throat> what is that? And took off. <laughs> Here we go. Read these chats. Oh, Captain Billy says, extra gluten for me, please. I say the same thing, Billy. <laughs> I want extra salt, extra sugar, extra gluten, extra fat. Put mm -hmm. it all on there. Gravy. Spooky Cat Lady says, food is different on different ships. That is so true. And even... It can change on the ship when you get a different uh, chef in there. Mm -hmm. And here's Law Jones. Laugh out loud. Great, Jackson. Take good care of you, Auntie Sharon, for oh, me, please. Right. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, here we go. Uh, Robin, you, have you watched the Journals of Awakening channel? That's uh, Sharon Roland talking. Nope. No, I have not watched it. Don't know what that is. No, we'll have to check it out. Dawn Ray says, mm, I love catfish. I miss catfishing. Hey, if you <laughs> like catfishing, you need to go check out the... Um, <sighs> lost my name here. Matt over at, hold on, I want to give you the right name here, Backlash Fisherman. <laughs> Backlash Fisherman. I'm, I guess my brain's getting tired. Hey, Martin Shark says, hey, Chet. No, no, can't put that up there. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! I just realized what it said. Because <laughs> I realized what, I put it up there and I didn't know what it said. I hadn't read it. And then I saw where Derry, uh, where somebody said, watch your language. It's like, okay, so I, okay. 
Um, well, I think that we have pretty much we'll covered the gamut today. So we will be back at six o'clock for the Saturday stroll. So don't forget to tune in then. And until next time, you guys, we will see you around the channel. See you around the channel. <laughs>